Welcome to the fastest word game on television. It's the Scrabble Challenge. And here's the man with all the tiles, John O'Hurley. Oh, well, hello there, and welcome to the world's favorite word game. Let's meet our two challengers today. He is a claims rep from Alhambra, California. Please welcome Dean Yoshitani. Thanks, John. Dean, nice to have Thank you with you. us. And over here in the other chair, she's the owner of a vending company from Huntington Beach, California. Say hello to Kelly Sims. Hello, Kelly. Hi. A big welcome to both of you. We're going to have a, a chance to chat later on in the show, but right now it's time to play Scrapple. All right, challengers, you know the way the game is played. The object is to win as much money as you can off the big Scrabble board. Now, before the game began, you each selected seven letters off a standard set of Scrabble tiles. You haven't seen them yet. In just a moment, we're going to reveal them to you. Now, the first player to buzz in with a word gets to place that word on the Scrabble board. And just like when you play Scrabble at home, the first word is going to be worth double points, and each of the colored squares on the board will add bonus points to your score, including the double letter, the triple letter, double word, triple word scores. And if you manage to use all seven tiles in your rack in one turn, you're going to win this. It's a trip to Hawaii! <laughs> You and a guest will spend a week at the fabulous Outrigger Hotel on beautiful Waikiki Beach with marvelous views of Diamond Head and the Pacific Ocean. It's a trip worth $3,700. Oh, that's not a bad incentive, and it only takes seven letters. All right, players, if you're ready, we'll reveal your letters now. All right, Dean, first up. Let's go with bath. Bath. All right. While Dean is getting ready, Kelly, I want to remind you that all through the game, any word that you find might be suspect, you're welcome to challenge that word. All right. Put bath up on the board, please, Dean. Okay. Let's go with B A T H. All right. Let's add up your score. That's three, four, five plus four. That's nine points. Double word score is 18. We're paying $25 a point. That means you start off with an opening tally of $450. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you have three tiles. You need four to return to the board. You're going to earn them by answering questions from these seven categories arranged in order of difficulty. For the one tile category, pleased to meet you. Have you met my roommate, Bubba? In the two-tile category, Phantom of the Opry, to tell the tooth, man, is she buffy. <laughs> and in the three-tile category, my big, fat Greek stewardess. <laughs> and I see London, I see France. Let's go with I see London, I see France. All right. In the three-tile category, listen carefully, please. If you get this right, Kelly, it sends you for your first trip to the board. The title of what Oscar-nominated Nicole Kidman film is French for Red Wind... Kelly. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge is yeah. correct. The title of what Oscar-nominated Nicole Kidman film is French for Red Windmill, in case you're an aficionado of the French language out there. All right, you have the seven tiles that you need to go to the board. You can do so right now, or you can exchange for any of the three letters I'm going to give you from Moulin Rouge. Okay. An M, an O, or a G. I'd like to exchange my A for the M, please. M is now on your tally board. And guess what? You have the seven letters you need to play Scrabble, and ten seconds begin now. I'd like to spell maze. Maze, all right. Put maze up on the board. M A Z E. All right, let's check this out. M is doubled. You have an A in there. A Z is doubled. E is another point added. You have 28 points, and that Ooh. is a total of $700. All right. Very good start for both of you. All right, Kelly, you're still in control of the board. You need three more tiles for another trip back to the Scrabble board. You'll be choosing from an additional category, which is a three-tile category, and it reads, She's a Dixie Chick. I'll take my big fat Greek stewardess, please. And why not? So would I. This is for three tiles. Please listen carefully. This will send you back to the board. They love to fly, and it shows what airline shares its name with a fourth letter of the Greek alphabet, Kelly? Delta. Delta is correct. And that gives you three tiles, and that's exactly what you need. Please place up there an E, an L, and a T. And guess what? Seven tiles return. That means you have 10 seconds to play Scrabble starting now. 
Okay, I'm going to spell there. Let's put there up on the board. T H E I R. Very good. That's seven points doubled. That's 14. That's $350, bringing your total to $1,050 and a very nice lead to begin with. You still are in control of the board, which will include this brand new category in the three tile category. It reads, <laughs> don't touch me there. Don't touch me there, please. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's fresh on the board. Listen carefully. America's largest muffler retailer shares its name with what king who... Dean? King Midas. Is correct. <laughs> All I needed was Midas. Absolutely. And three tiles go to you. That's an I, a D, and an A from Midas. That gives you a total of six, just still one shy. Kelly, you need four. Dean? The new category is a three tile category. A cuckoo choo choo. And you'll see the red star there, which means this is a special category, which means a special bonus is attached. Dean, you control your choice, please. John, how about, have you met my roommate Bubba? Have you met my roommate Bubba? This is the one tile question, which is all you need to go back to the board. Listen carefully, please. A toss up for you both, formerly a federal prison. What current tourist attraction sits on an island in... Kelly, the first one in. Alcatraz. Alcatraz is indeed yes. correct. You stole it away from him. And a T goes to you, bringing your total to four. You need three more. We need a new title for the one tile category, and it is... Shacking up. Kelly, you control the board. I'll take she's a Dixie chick. She's a Dixie chick. All right, this question is for both of you. It sends either one of you back to the board. Which country singer had hits with The Heart Won't Lie? And rumor has it, and now stars in her own sitcom on the WB. <laughs> Kelly. Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre. <laughs> that gives you three tiles, a B and an A and an E. Thank you, Reba. All right, Kelly, you have seven tiles, and you know what that means. You have ten seconds to play Scrabble starting now. A table. Table is the word. Put it up there, please. T A B L E. Table is up there. Let's add that up. That's ten points for $250, bringing your total of $1,300. Ah, you heard it. That's the end of round one. That's exactly what that sound means. When we come back for round two, the point values will double to $50, and we'll see if old Dean here can play some catch-up baseball. Come back and join us, won't you? Welcome back to the Scrabble Challenge. And here's the man whose name is worth 27 points, John O'Hurley. Well, hello there. Welcome back. Oh, 27 points. Is that true? Gee, I wonder if my parents ever gave consideration to that when they named me. <laughs> well, while I'm dwelling on that, why don't we meet the two people that are playing the game? Hello there, Dean. Hi, John. How are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I currently live in Alhambra, California. Uh -huh. And in my spare time, I perform as a Japanese Elvis impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> well, you took the wind out of my sails. That's, is there much competition for that? You know, there's not a lot of Japanese Elvis impersonators, so I think I have the niche market right a there. A niche market. Yeah. Always develop something that worked from your strength. Good for you. Thanks, John. Nice to have you with us. Hello, Kelly. Hello. And how about yourself? Where are you from? I'm a native Californian, mm -hmm. and I own my own vending business. Vending business? Yes. And I have a collection of over 200 Pez dispensers. Well, you're quite the entrepreneur, vending machine yes. business, huh? Well, that's wonderful. Well, you're also playing a very good game you. because you're in the lead with $1,300, and Dean has got $450. let us continue, shall we? Yeah. All right. Now, in round two, the point values change. Each point will be worth $50. Kelly, you still control the board. You need four to send you back to the Scrabble board. But to continue, we're going to need a new category, and that category is in the three-tile category. You said there'd be no math. All right, Kelly, you still control the board? I'd like a cuckoo choo-choo, please. Cuckoo choo-choo. You see the red star. You know what that means? A special category. In this case, it means fill your rack. You can bring your rack up to seven tiles. That'll take you to the board. Now, in your case, Dean, that just means you need one. Kelly, you need four, and it can take you all the way to seven. So listen carefully, please. What title character takes the train from London's King's Cross Station at the secret platform number nine and three quarters? Dean. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter is correct. You only need one tile. What letter would you like, sir? 
John, I'll take the H. You're going to take the H. The H goes onto your rack. Guess what? That means seven tiles. You have ten seconds to play Scrabble, starting now. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll add on to the word maze and spell amazed. Amazed. Take the A, and I'll put the D on the end. And spell amazed. Amazed, a smart addition. Let's tally that up for you. That is 18 points, no bonuses. $900, which means you are now in the lead, Dean, with $1,350. Yeah. You see what happens when we change those point values. All right, sir, you're still in control of the board. We need a new category. Let's find out what it is for three tiles. The title is two for the price of one. John, I'll take man. Is she Buffy? <laughs> right. For two tiles, man, is she Buffy? This can send you back to the Scrabble board. It doesn't quite get Kelly there. Listen closely, both. She currently plays a vampire slayer, but Sarah Michelle Geller got her start as the daughter of Erica Kane on what TV soap? All My Children. Kelly, exactly right. <laughs> All My Children. Two tiles on your rack. The L and the E from All My Children. You're in control of the board, and now you need only two for a return trip to the Scrabble board. You need a new category, and that category is two tiles. And it says, can you say that on TV? <laughs> Kelly? I'd like to tell the tooth, please. To tell the tooth. All right. For two tiles. Listen carefully. This is valuable for both of you. Gold Member was the third movie featuring what snaggle tooth? Kelly? Austin Powers. Austin Powers is correct. You get two letters out of there, a U and a W. And guess what? That returns you to seven. And you have 10 seconds to play Scrabble starting now. I'll spell exit. Exit. Please place exit up on the board. E. X. I. T. The X is on the triple letter score. That's 27 points and a total of $1,350. Oh. Bringing your total to $2,650. Kelly, you're playing like you're trying to break the bank. All right, let's continue, please. We'll need another two-tile category, and that category is some like it wet. <laughs> All right, Kelly, you control the board. Your choice. I'll take some like it wet. All right, this is valuable for both of you. Listen carefully. What is the only American state that is completely surrounded by... Dean? Hawaii. Oh, you jumped in there quickly. The only American state completely surrounded by water. Hawaii is, in fact, the answer. You get an A and an I. That brings you back to seven letters. Your rack is full, and you get to play Scrabble. You have 10 seconds, starting now. How about hence? How about that word, hens? What say we put that up there? Okay. H E N C and the E. All right, that's 10 points, but you found a triple word score. That gives you 30 points and $1,500, catapulting you to $2,850, and the lead is once yours. And yes, you heard it. That is the end of round two. We got ourselves a horse race here. I'll tell you, come back and join us, because now the point values double once again to $100 a point. You're going to watch two heavyweights go at it. Join us after this. back with more of the Scrabble Challenge. And once again, here's John. Hello there. Welcome back. And if you just joined us, boy, we got a horse race going on here. Dean has got $2,850. Kelly has $2,650. 200 points behind, but this is where it could be anybody's game because now the point values double. Every point will be worth $100, which means one word could change the lead. Dean, you're still in control of the board. You need four tiles for a return to the Scrabble board. Kelly, you only need two. Dean, we need another category for you. It's in the two-tile category, and it is... Chin and tonic for two tiles. <laughs> All right, Dean, your choice, please. You know, I like math, so let's go with you said there'd be no math. You said there'd be no math. All right, that's for three tiles. All right, now remember, this sends you to six. This puts you back up to the board and a chance to resume the lead. Here is a simple brain teaser. How many months contain exactly 30 days? <laughs> Kelly. Four. Four is exactly right. <laughs> You have four, you get an F, an O, and a U. All you need is two. So please select two from the F, the O, and the U. 
I'll take the F and the O, please. The F and the O are yours. That brings you to seven tiles. And <laughs> turn that chair because you now have 10 seconds to play Scrabble starting now. I'll spell flaw. All right, Kelly. <laughs> F L A W. F L A W. Take advantage of the bonus. That's 18 points, $1,800, bringing you to $4,450. See how quickly the lead can change hands here? All right, you still control the board. Kelly, let's get you another category, and the title of that category is Three Tiles. Boys just want to have fun. <laughs> okay. I'd like boys just want to have fun. For three tiles once again. <laughs> Listen closely. The lowest ranking in the Boy Scouts is Tenderfoot. What are you called if you have the highest rank? Dean, I would expect you to get this. Eagle Scout. Uh, Eagle Scout, of course. All right, very good. Were you ever an Eagle Scout? No, I wasn't. Well, that's all right. Instead of the Eagle Scout badge, you get three letters, E, C, and T. That's going to have to be enough for you. You have six. You need one more. Kelly, you still need three. We need a new category. Dean, you control the board, and this is for three tiles, and it reads, <laughs> Babelicious. I'll take shacking up, please. All right, shacking up for a single tile, which is all you need to go back to the board. This would help you as well. Listen carefully. Shaquille O'Neal led which Los Angeles base? Dean? Lakers. Lakers is right. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal led the L.A.-based... Lakers to the 2002 NBA championships, and for that, you get not a title, but a tile, and that will be an S. That gives you seven. Dean, that's seven, and that's all you need. You got 10 seconds to play. Scrabble starting now. Oh, I got a good one. I'm gonna spell bats. All right, let's fly those bats up there. Okay, I'll use the B from table. The A, T, and S spells exit across. It sure does. Let's total this up. All right, you get you get the double letter from bats. That gives you seven points. Exits across is twelve. A total of nineteen for nineteen hundred dollars, bringing you to a total of forty-seven hundred and fifty dollars. And there it is. You hear the end of the game. Dean is our winner for the day. $4,750. Congratulations. Kelly, thank you so much for playing. You fought the good fight. The lead went back and forth. Unfortunately, we don't have anything for you to add to the Pez collection, but we do have a nice collection of Hasbro products for you, including the world's favorite word game, Scrabble. Thanks again thank for you. playing. We enjoyed having you today. And our champion, Dean, over here with $4,750. Boy, talking about the good fight back and forth and back and forth. Thanks, went. John. And a great ending. You had two words at the end, which put you over the top. All right, he's going to have a chance now to double his dollar total. He's going to take the Scrabble Challenge and it also a chance to drive home in a car. Can he do it? Mm-hmm. Come back and join us. It's time for the Scrabble Challenge bonus round. And once again, here's John. Welcome back to the Scrabble Challenge. I'm here with Dean, who has won $4,750. Now, Dean, that's yours to keep, but you now have a chance to double that money to $95. $100. Oh, yeah. Does that sound good to you? That sounds real good, John. All right. Well, this is the way it's going to work. Before the show, you drew 30 tiles from a standard set of Scrabble tiles, and now you're going to have 45 seconds to build a chain of words from the center of the board to one of the four corner squares. And if you manage to make a word that uses all seven letters in your rack at one time, you not only win the game, you double your money, and you get to drive home in this. It's a brand new car! The 2003 Ford Focus designed with style and flair for a new generation. Whether on city streets or the open road, you'll love the Ford Focus. This great car is worth $18,728. All right. Got a little room in your driveway for that? Oh, yeah. I'll sure just bet that. you do. All right. The only thing left to do is to find out which of the four corners you have to reach. So when you're ready, hit the button and lock in a square. All right, Dean. 45 seconds to get from the center to the upper right-hand square. If you get stuck, you can always trade in letters as long as you have some left. So take five seconds now. Study your letters. Okay. 45 seconds on the clock, Dean. Your time begins now. Needs. N. E. E. D. S. Um. Nose. N. O S E 
Um, Hen, H E N. Uh, pay, uh, pale, P A L E. Uh, put, P U T. Uh, tot, T O T. Uh, tip, T I P. And you found the corner. You yes. found the corner. Upper right hand corner, that means you have doubled your money. Your total is $9,500. Oh. Congratulations yeah. to you, Dean. Come on down here. And while I'm congratulating him, I want to say goodbye to you. I'm John O'Hurley, and I'll see you next time right here on the Scrabble Challenge. Congratulations, Dean. $9,500. I know. Oh, you got it all so the way excited. up there, and the last one was just great. Really yeah. Good. Thanks. All right.